Hello everyone and welcome to class of distributed massive MIMO. Today in this class we will discuss about distributed massive MIMO in cellular networks. So if you talk about wireless communication it is the most active area of development nowadays. So if we talk about monthly traffic data it is ever increasing that means compared to it is 57 percent more compared to the annual growth or we can say if you see the graph it is growing. So monthly uh, mobile traffic is 24.3 exabytes in 2019. It is supposed to be 24.3 exabytes in 2019, which represent that 50%, 57% annual growth in the mobile data traffic. So there are three sim symbolic techniques that we can support data rate boom. So we have to apply some technologies that can work in high data rate technology like we are having high data rate boom in the ears so what are the three uh, symbiotic techniques so very first one is extreme densification Extreme densification and offloading to serve. So we can apply extreme densification and offloading to serve more active nodes per unit area. So this is extreme densification and offloading so that we can uh, serve more active nodes per unit area. So this we call as massive multiple input, multiple output. Next we are having like we require to increase the bandwidth. So next one as increased, increased bandwidth. So how we can increase the bandwidth primarily by moving uh, into millimeter wave uh, spectrum. Millimeter wave spectrum uh, which ranges from uh, 30 to 300 gigahertz. Next we have increased spectral efficiency. Spectral efficiency primarily through advances in MIMO to support more bits, uh, more number of bits per uh, per hertz per second per node. So massive MIMO, what are the basic principle of the massive MIMO? So the basic principle include, uh, let's talk about the basic principle of this distributed massive MIMO. The very first is higher data rates. higher data rates so owing to extreme high data rate a uh, higher high number of antennas the number of spatial streams that can be transmitted through the antennas keep on increasing that means if we require high data rate we are increasing the total number of antennas at both the ends and it increases in the number of the spatial streams that can be transmitted which increases the number of or it increases the number of served terminals so massive MIMO serves high data rate. Next, because of massive MIMO, we have improved energy efficiency. We have improved energy efficiency because the transmitted RF energy, RF energy can be more sharply focused in space. Suppose this is the energy energy which is more sharply focused in focused in in space where the transmitters are uh, located and energy could be minimized so this is improved energy efficiency because of the massive mimo then we have relaxed hardware constraints
रिलैक्सड हार्डवेयर कंस्ट्रेंट हार्डवेयर एक्यूरेसी डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑफ लो क्वालिटी लाइक वी हैव हेयर इन मैसे बाइमो द लो क्वालिटी बट द नंबर ऑफ इंडीनाज आर इंग्री एज कम्पेयर टू परचेजिंग एक्सट्रीमली हाई हाई कॉस्ट और कॉस्टली एंडीनाज वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन लो क्वालिटी एंड इन एक्सपेंसिव कॉम्पोनेंट्स लाइक विच वी कैन यूज इन द हार्डवेयर सो हेयर दैट्स वाई वी आर हैविंग रिलैक्सड हार्डवेयर कंस्ट्रेंट बिकॉज वी आर नॉट फोकसिंग ऑन कॉस्टली इक्विपमेंट और एक्सपेंसिव इक्विपमेंट एंड आ नेटवर्क then here in distributed mass mimo we have improved reliability we are having improved reliability and also we are having reduced interference so these are the basic principle of the distributed mass mimo because because of the mass mimo data rates is increasing energy efficiency is increasing we are, we are not uh, we have we don't require to spend more amount of money for the hardware improved reliability and also the interference is reduced because of this thank you so much